This is Twit. Listeners of this program get an ad-free version if they're members of Club Twit. $7 a month gives you ad-free versions of all of our shows, plus membership in the Club Twit Discord, a great clubhouse for Twit listeners. And finally, the Twit Plus feed with shows like Stacy's Book Club, The Untitled Linux Show, The Giz Fizz, and more. Go to twit.tv slash club twit. And thanks for your support. You've been talking Stupid for a while reason. about an interesting issue you've been having on those 12th gen Intels. Yep. And you no, asked, I still have not reached out to okay. any. You know, I, I, asked, I asked publicly. I said, if any, you know. Yeah. Um, I've gotten some emails from people. You know, I will say one of the things that's gotten lost over the months is the impetus for this, like how it started. I, I keep talking about it in the context of browsers, but that's only because that's where the problem is seen the most frequently. So it's an easy thing to find. And, you know, all you got to do is load it up with tabs and you know, you'll see what I'm talking about. But the actual issue is not browsers, right? I think we, you and I talked about this notion that maybe it has something to do with, you know, Windows 11 uh, process scheduling or whatever, but um, which I, I do think it's Windows. I think ultimately it's Windows 11 not being optimized for this new hybrid architecture. I think like, we could just simplify it like that. However, that said, maybe I'm wrong because the way I saw this in the beginning and still see it is when the laptop is docked, right, to a USB hub, USB-C hub, or a Thunderbolt dock. And the thing, over time, I've expanded my experience with this happening to multiple computers and i mean like 15 laptops and then multiple docks there was a dock inside of an hp conferencing monitor which is USB C dock i have an anchor USB C dock i have a cal digit is that the right name uh thunderbolt 3 yeah, dock yeah they, they make actually and that's I have my an, favorite dock is the their yep their it's a great dock. dock yeah and i have a i have the thunderbolt 3 version here at home and in mexico i have an hp thunderbolt 4 dock and i've experienced this multiple times in all of these docks and hubs. And uh, I just, because people email me and say, yeah, I'm having the same problem with, um, you know, whatever Chrome. And it's like, okay, it's like, are you using a dock or a hub? Like, no, it's like, well, then you're not really, <laughs> you don't really have the same problem. So, so you think it's finally, dock hub related, not. It is. It's ab It absolutely is. Cause when you don't because have I a dock, really, it doesn't do it. That's right. Now ah, I finally got an email from someone who listened, heard me complain about this. I can't say who he is or where he works, but I do want to read a small part of it, or at least paraphrase it, uh, because he has seen this exact issue. And this person rolls out PCs for multiple PC makers, always in tandem. And this, these are his words, USB-C or Thunderbolt 3 slash 4 dock. All of the HP Dell and Anchor docks I've tried have had this issue. Uh, he, he notices it in Teams. He uses huh. Edge and hasn't seen this so much in huh. Edge. Um, he, but he, did, he had a little bit of data, which is very interesting to me. He says, I noticed when researching this issue that the CPU was down clocking to blow 0.5 gigahertz when the issue happens. And I'm wondering if you, me, have used Task Manager to check if this is happening to me as well. And I haven't. So that's something I'm going to be looking at. Um, he says, this person, hmm. that Dell appears to have know about this issue because they have released multiple BIOS updates. And now the issue appears to be fixed on Dell. Uh -huh. um, yep. Uh -huh. So that's interesting. Now, coincidentally or not one thing i've noticed because uh well it doesn't matter because I, I review a lot of laptops um i hp laptops for whatever reason and i have a bunch of them in the house right now a lot of firmware updates happening on hp right now and by firmware i mean the bios part of the firmware like the um and it seems like this might be how a pc maker would fix this i don't have a lot of experience in this area other than when microsoft got into the pc market with service one of the issues that came up was that Microsoft, as an inexperienced PC maker, didn't understand all the problems that hardware makers had with dealing with hardware from Intel or AMD or whatever. Like that these things would ship with bugs and that they would be responsible for fixing them on their own machines through firmware updates. So this was the thing where Microsoft had, had that Surface Gate problem I've talked about where Surface Pro 4 especially, no, sorry, Surface Pro 4 to some degree, but Surface Book 1 especially had major issues with coming out of sleep, they would hot bag all the time. Remember all that stuff. Microsoft got into such an argument with uh, Intel that they actually dropped support for older chipsets in Windows 10 at the time just to kind of make them mad and demanded that Intel fix this. And Intel said, no, this is your problem. And this was like the sign of immaturity with Microsoft because they didn't have a lot of experience with PCs. I talked to people from other PC makers. I can't say which ones, but 
I was told by two different people that they were happy this happened, not because people were hurt by it, but because this would force Microsoft to understand the issue <laughs> and would design Windows better and because they never understood when they came to you know to Microsoft and complained, like, we need an easier way to make this happen. They were like, that's a problem for you and Intel or whatever, or you and AMD, whatever it was. And uh, now that this has happened, um, the feeling is maybe Microsoft will have a little more, um, you know, humility and uh, hmm. I don't know, uh, empathy, <laughs> you know, with regards to this kind of a problem. Anyway, I've someone uh, I I get a lot of email from people like I think I'm having this and they do or don't. You know, it, 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 I, like I said, it, we've lost track of the uh, the hub slash doc part of it, which I think is key. This person has seen exactly what I've seen across multiple computers, just like me, multiple PC makers, just like me, multiple dock types, just like me. And I have no, I don't have a Dell dock, but I do. I have tried on two HPs. The anchor is the one I travel with and use all the time. I never had any problems with 12th gen. This thing has been a champ. It's still a champ. I'm using it right now for the show with an AMD based machine. It works great. Um, and there you go. So I'm not saying I, I, I don't, I don't mean to say I've solved it, <laughs> you know, or someone else solved it for me, I guess. Um, but I, I was, I, I just wanted to provide this update because someone has, for all the emails I've gotten about this topic, someone wrote me and I've, I, yes, that's, that, that's it. That's exactly it. That's exactly right. And he's given me a little bit of a, a um, uh, little bit of a trouble shooting step I can take. So I kind of want to force the problem now to, and I will actually, I'm going to, um, just so I can see if I can uh, see this thing in task manager as well. Yeah. Anyway, hopefully yeah. I'm not crazy. I mean, I'm crazy in other ways, but um, at least on this issue, like I said, I've just been kind of blown away. Interesting. By how little I've um, <laughs> seen out in the world about <laughs> other reviewers, you know, yeah. like it does great in benchmarks. Like that's fantastic. But what's a benchmark? Like, it's like they don't mean? really use it for real work that's one of the things i you know before the show i was saying did you change your your zoom laptop again but i have to say i admire you because yeah. that's one of the ways you test stuff is you use it i and actually use it if right. you don't that's use right. it you're not you can't really review it that's right 